Hello everyone, and welcome to this tutorial on reading and writing from Kafka using Java. Apache Kafka is a distributed, open-source messaging technology that is used to accept, record, and publish messages at a very large scale. In this tutorial, we'll be using Java to interact with Kafka. Apache Kafka itself is written in Java and Scala, and it runs on JVMs. Kafka's native API was written in Java as well. Before we get started, there are a few requirements you'll need to fulfill while working with Apache Kafka. An IDE tool such as Notepad, Eclipse, IntelliJ IDEA, etc. JDK 1.8 or higher. A build tool such as Gradle or Maven 3. Maven is a build tool used mainly for Java projects. It focuses on how a project is built and what its dependencies are. Maven allows users to add repositories to their Java code. These repositories will help us develop our projects on Kafka. Now that we have our tools set up, let's get started with the tutorial. First, we'll learn how to create a topic in Kafka using the command line interface, CLI. Then, we'll learn how to write messages to the topic and read messages from the topic using the CLI. After that, we'll move on to writing and reading messages from the Kafka topics using Java code. Throughout this tutorial, I'll provide step-by-step -step instructions and examples to help you understand how to interact with Kafka using Java. So let's get started. Now that we have our tools set up, let's start by creating a Kafka topic. To create a topic, open the command line interface, CLI, and navigate to the Kafka installation directory. Then, enter the following command, slash bin slash Kafka topics, sh, create bootstrap server localhost, 9092 replication factor 1, partitions 1 topic my topic. This command will create a new topic called my topic with a single partition and a replication factor of 1. First, let's create a new Java project in IntelliJ IDEA. Then, add the following dependencies to your maven-palm.xml file. First, open a web browser and go to the Maven Central Repository, search.maven.org. In the search bar, type Kafka Clients, click on the latest version number. On the Artifact Details page, you'll see a section labeled Dependency Information that contains code snippets for adding the dependency to your project using various build tools. If you're using Maven, copy the code snippet from the Maven tab. Now, switch back to your Java project and open your palm.xml file. Inside the Dependencies section, paste the code snippet that you copied from the Maven website. After adding this dependency to your palm.xml file, save the file and Maven will automatically download and install the Kafka Clients library for you. Let's create a new Java class called Kafka Producer Example. In this class, we'll write code to produce messages to our Kafka topic. We'll be looking at an example of how to use the Kafka Producer class to send messages to a Kafka topic. First, let's take a look at the code. We start by importing the necessary classes from the org.apache.kafka.clients.producer package. We also import the properties class from the java.util package. Next, we define our Kafka producer example class and our main method. Inside the main method, we create a new properties object and set some properties for our Kafka producer. We specify the bootstrap servers, which is the address of our Kafka broker. We also specify the key and value serializers, which tell the producer how to serialize the data before sending it to Kafka. After setting up our properties, we create a new Kafka producer object and pass in our properties. This creates a new producer that we can use to send messages to Kafka. In our example, we use a for loop to send 100 messages to a topic called my topic. 
we create a new producer record object for each message, specifying the topic, key, and value. The key and value are both set to the current value of i, converted to a string. Finally, after sending all of our messages, we close the producer. Next, let's create a new Java class called Kafka Consumer Example. In this class, we'll write code to consume messages from our Kafka topic. Now, let's take a look at the code. We start by importing the necessary classes from the org.apache.kafka.clients.consumer package. We also import the properties and arrays classes from the java.util package. Next, we define our Kafka consumer example class and our main method. Inside the main method, we create a new properties object and set some properties for our Kafka consumer. We specify the bootstrap servers, which is the address of our Kafka broker. We also specify the group ID, which identifies our consumer group. We set enable.auto.commit to true, which means that the consumer will automatically commit offsets at regular intervals. We also specify the key and value deserializers, which tell the consumer how to deserialize the data received from Kafka. After setting up our properties, we create a new Kafka consumer object and pass in our properties. This creates a new consumer that we can use to consume messages from Kafka. In our example, we subscribe to a topic called My Topic by calling the subscribe method on our consumer and passing in an array containing the topic name. Next, we enter an infinite loop where we pull for new messages every 100 milliseconds. When we receive new messages, we iterate over them and print out their offset, key, and value. In addition to the Kafka Clients Library, you'll also need to add the SLF4J logging library to your project. SLF4J, or Simple Logging Facade for Java, is a logging abstraction library that allows you to use various logging frameworks with your Java project. Now that we have our Kafka producer example and Kafka consumer example classes set up, let's run them and see how they work. First, open the Kafka producer example class in IntelliJ IDEA. Then, right-click anywhere in the code editor and select run Kafka producer example main from the context menu. This will run the Kafka producer example class and send 100 messages to our Kafka topic. Next, open a terminal window and navigate to the Kafka installation directory. Then, enter the following command to start the Kafka consumer. Slash bin slash Kafka console consumer dot sh bootstrap server localhost 9092 topic my topic from beginning. This will start the Kafka consumer and display all messages that have been sent to the topic. You should see the 100 messages that were sent by the Kafka producer example class. Now, switch back to IntelliJ IDEA and open the Kafka Consumer Example class. Right-click anywhere in the code editor and select Run Kafka Consumer Example dot main from the context menu. This will run the Kafka Consumer Example class and start consuming messages from our Kafka topic. You can watch the output in the Run Tool window in IntelliJ IDEA to see the messages as they are consumed. And that's it for this tutorial on reading and writing from Kafka using Java. I hope you found it helpful and that you now have a better understanding of how to interact with Kafka using Java. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.